Hey there gorgeous, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me again. If you're new here, my name is Kylie, so welcome. Uh, and if you've come back again, welcome back. I would like to today <clears throat> share with you the six things that scare me the most about having VSG surgery. So keeping in mind, I'm filming this about 10 days prior to having surgery done. So these are the things in real time that scare me. Okay, ready? I've wrote a list, so I'll be looking down. <coughs> so, number one, it won't work. That's just like, what if it doesn't work? What if I alter my body and it doesn't work? Now, why wouldn't it work? Because of the lipedema, it's quite possible it won't work, although I've seen lots of studies and I've seen lots of people who have had successful outcomes and same with thyroid disease six lots of successful but there's always that fear that I'll go through all of this effort <clears throat> I need a drink and it won't work <clears throat> so that would be number one fear number two fear would be loose skin now I'm 51 so my skin ain't gonna be all bouncy and perky and <laughs> back into place is it <laughs> let's get realistic right uh, so loose skin is a fear will I need more surgery will it be really uncomfortable is it something that uh, because I have lipedema in the upper arms as well and that's why I wear these these shirts down here see 30% um, of lipedema sufferers have it in the upper arms uh, the rest it's just thighs and tummy um, I'm lucky enough to have it in my upper arms so I am likely to have loose skin in not just the tummy where most people have a tummy tuck but in the upper arms quite badly they're huge surgeries to have those removed so that is a fear all right <clears throat> number three is going on from that is will it affect my marriage will the loose skin affect my marriage I don't expect so <laughs> not from his perspective because he didn't meet me as a skinny mini so I'm pretty solid in the fact that he loves me for me however <clears throat> how will I feel will I start to do the things that like hide myself away or not want to be intimate and things like that because of the loose skin or, or whatever comes of it so uh, and with the marriage also I have a friend whose husband had it and they no longer eat out in fancy restaurants that was their thing they loved eating out in fancy restaurants and all the rest of it that's, <laughs> that's not an issue for us we don't do that so but there are certainly aspects to your marriage that will change or to my marriage that will possibly change so <coughs> more water so that was number three. Number four, will it affect my business? So thyroid school, I've spent the last 10 years talking about natural ways to reverse thyroid disease and to feel better and all those things. Will it affect that? Will people go, she's a fraud, she's a sellout, she's taking the easy way out, all those things, right? This is a very real fear. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen but I have to keep moving forward because this is about me at the end of the day. Um, you know, one of my other things that I do is a little thing called your purpose is you. And that's what our purpose is in our life, I believe. Our purpose is to make us the best possible version of ourselves for us, not from other people's perspectives. So you need to keep moving forward no matter what that looks like. It doesn't mean to say it's not scary, right? All right, number five. What if I can't eat lettuce anymore? <laughs> That's huge. I, I love salads, right? I love salads, I love veggies. I'm probably more whole foods plant-based than I am a meat eater. Uh, every now, I do like meat, but I would, if somebody said choose, it would definitely be salads, veggies, etc. So I've read, why would I not be able to eat lettuce? I have read on so many of the forums that people can't eat or digest lettuce afterwards and 
From an intolerance perspective, actually 27% of people at any one given time are intolerant to lettuce, right? So I know this from the groups and the and the places, the, the labs that I send intolerance test kits to for my clients. So I know that that's a thing. Um, so yeah, but what if I can never eat those foods that make me feel good now afterwards? So it's a fear, right? <laughs> Especially with everything I know about health. Uh, what if the only things I can tolerate are meat and cheese? Because that seems to be what everybody's eating is meat and cheese. Whereas I'm looking for the egg-free frittatas. I'm looking for the, you know, the, the plant-based cheese recipes. They don't exist. So with everything that I know and the studies that I know behind plant-based eating as opposed to meat eating, what if afterwards I can only tolerate meat and cheese? I'm not sure how my head will cope with that. <laughs> I really like, that's a big fear, okay? The last one, number six, what if it severely affects my thyroid? <clears throat> so why would I say that? If you are watching and you have thyroid issues, any diet where you go on a very low calorie diet uh, or fasting, for example, also, or you have weight loss surgery, very low calorie affects the thyroid and slows it down even more. <clears throat> if you are watching and you don't have a thyroid problem, be aware you could very easily develop one after you've had surgery. Okay, so this is a very real thing with low calorie diets. And so you need to be aware of what you're possibly walking into and what kind of things you need to look out for on the other side, symptoms wise. If you start to feel yuck, you know what they are. So I would, if, if you're that person, head over to thyroid school and, and look there for those sorts of things. Um, I'm trying to keep them both channels separate and uh, because, <coughs> because I've, I've, in the, the lead up for this, I have researched and looked at so many YouTube videos, so many websites and all the rest of it. And there are a lot of people that have an existing business and that have slotted in the VSG information. And it's really hard to find the information in and around their other videos. So I've literally decided that to track this journey more for myself, but also if there's anyone else out there that just can't find the information from the perspective that I will give, because everybody will give a different perspective, right? Then I thought it's best to keep them separate. So that's why this one's gonna be just on my page, my name, and there's probably not going to be an Instagram attached to it or anything like that. It will just be the YouTube channel uh, at this stage. At the time of filming, I, I you know, can change my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind and that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, so I am taking it one step at a time with this, trying to figure everything out. So they're the six things I'm afraid of. Are they gonna stop me from doing it? Nope. I will take everything as it comes and we'll just, you know, deal with any issues as they arise. And that's all you can do in life. In life, we can be frightened of a million things but that shouldn't stop us from moving forward and having a go anyway to see what happens. So that's where we're at now. And uh, so that's me for this one. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.